everyone and hope you're doing great so yep i'm back anyway um right now i am in the e30 actually uh going to park it at my storage there uh it's something that i had planned to do in january and today is actually we just went over the half point mark of the month uh we actually, it's actually the 17th so i hadn't done that so uh the reason for that i was thinking i was going to pack off the e30 for the month since we are busy with uh preparations for the uh vdap camp fest which is happening the first weekend of february um so my whole idea was to park the E30 and then drive the VR6 um, since we haven't really, really, really uh, taken it up and down, you know, just to, to check that everything is sorted. So I think it's, it's round about, it's actually uh, that time that I need to do that because I don't want to have issues where now I'm driving the VR6 to the camp fest and then something happens <laughs> you know how it is with these cars you just need to make sure that everything is the way that it's, it's supposed to be and that everything is working you know so right now i am gonna go past a friend of mine Tisetso, who is the guy who actually um uh, was doing the restoration on the on the vr6 so the vr6 guys it's not the same as the e30 way we did it ground up right the vr6 was not was a car that was actually uh driving not in the base con of conditions but it wasn't as bad as the e30 um the e30 was a lot of work you know uh took very long but it was all worth it at the end of the day because here it is cars driving nice anyway yeah uh, so another one is I actually have been looking for a Caravel 2.6 active for the longest of times I actually had years ago I had a 2.5 Caravel and a 2.6 exclusive Caravel uh, sold those but ever since then I've always been looking for a nice clean fresh one uh, because I just felt you know, that car was a very nice car for the family you know also to I used to daily that car by the way <laughs> I know I always daily um, very interesting cars but yeah it's, it's a dailyable car but anyway uh, so one Sunday evening Monday went to go view it and yeah it is now ours so that we will make another video on that one that's it guys i'm almost at tisetos house i'm gonna show you what other projects he's working on uh all the cars that he's working on right now are cars that will be going to the vdap camp fest um so yeah guys if you do see me at the camp fest uh come through say hi and yeah check out the cars you know yeah so see you just now Okay guys, unfortunately just spoke to him and he's not uh, around so we're just gonna go straight to the storage. Yeah guys, so we have eventually uh, arrived at the storage and here's the E30. I'm just gonna go close it up. Uh, we'll probably see it hmm, in about three weeks time, two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna miss it for the good time. This past December, 
Aisha really, really uh, gave me a good time. Yeah, <laughs> I really enjoyed this car the past December and the past few days. Uh, people are always asking, can you daily an E30? And I never knew, you know, I never had the answer, but I was like, let me give it a try. And I daily the car. And let me tell you, it was superb. Uh, car in nice. No, not one issue did I get from this car. Um, so yeah, I guess you can daily an E30 or any other car. It's just that, you know what? You have to do everything right. Uh, spend the money, spend the time making sure that every little thing is sorted. And not that you're not going to have issues or any problems with the car. No, but if done right. I mean, these cars guys used to be uh, people's dailies for the longest of times. So, I mean, if you can take it back to possibly getting it to that point, uh, you know how it was back then, I suppose you can still daily the car. So guys, I'm thinking of putting the gales on the Caravel. Uh, and the reason for that actually, back then, years ago, I remember uh, in my hood, there was a blue Caravel with gales and I think that's where I fell in love with this wheel and I don't know if you follow me on Instagram but if you do you know that I see that I've got the wheels ready for my eight car garage and someone actually asked me what does that eight car garage consist of and I said just watch and you will see so this wheel I'm thinking to put it on to the caravel it's it's it is the it's a Five, I think yeah, five one one two, uh, PC, PCD. If I'm not mistaken, I actually have to. I haven't, I haven't tried it out. I actually, actually have to make time and go put it on before I even spend money on buying tires. Whereas now you find that it doesn't even fit. So this wheel is gonna go in the caravel. Uh, hopefully in time for camp fest. Um, my whole plan is to put it on before camp fest, and then this is the wheel that I'm thinking of putting onto the VR6, the Emolas. So also got a set of 17 tires, but um, we'll see about that one. The other one that was uh, another option for the VR6 was the Starfish, but I know that there's gonna be a lot of cars with Starfish in it. So you know, we'll try by all means just to be a bit different, you know. Uh, yeah so that's it guys let me just uh cover the e30 and then i'm gonna be back on my way home So yep, there she is, all covered up. Uh, she was clean, so I'm thinking obviously once we come pick her up again, she'll still be clean, probably just give her a wash either way. So that's it guys, I will see you a bit later on. What is good? What is good, everybody? So finally, uh, it is that time again where we are, we are prepping for Camp Fest. It's actually one week away from the event and a whole lot of things still need to be done. Uh, but we are getting there slowly but surely. So as you can see here, we've got our green, uh, green Mamba. Then we've got the fire, VR6 over there. Uh, Jack is busy sorting out the sound in there. And then Diseto is busy just uh, sorting out some nitty gritties in his car. Anyway guys, if you interested to come see the cars come through, uh, we're going to be at Camp Fest. Uh, yeah, come through, say hi, and yeah, we'll take it from there. Don't you want to tell us a bit about Hore Uetsangi? Mm, let, us, let, us, 
Tell us a bit, Tori. What you busy with? <laughs> what you busy with? Uh, sitting out the air suspension because it actually crash landed in the car. So we're trying to make a nice boot setup on the car and then take it to the first. Hopefully, we'll be done. We're running behind schedule though. But we have the whole team here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have JCK Sound. Uh, he's doing wiring for us and then obviously Fire Media mm-hmm. covering everything. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be done. But it's going to be like an intense five days. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Nice one. So Jack, what are you busy with here? Hi guys, uh, this is Jack from JCK Sounds. We're just busy with sound on the Fire Vora. If you can see the amps they are installed, we just need to complete the wiring and everything should be fine. But two days, three days, I think all these cars should be okay. Awesome stuff. Thanks, gents. So yeah, guys, uh, that's what we are busy with. It's a Sunday morning. Uh, we woke up very early uh, because time is really not on our side. But definitely, I think we'll cover uh, before before I'd say Wednesday we should be done because there's a lot of cleaning also needs that needs to be done. But yeah, see you there. And we'll also see where we get to by the end of the day.